We're off on another trip. I cannot believe that this is my life. goodies to try which came at the perfect time because I'm literally just about to pack my stuff for our trip. I have you guys balanced on our toaster and it's stressing me out but anything for the angle anything for the vlog welcome back you guys or welcome if you're new here if you are new here hello welcome my name is Ella if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back to my channel I really appreciate it I'm literally so excited to bring you guys along for this week we're off on another trip I cannot believe that this is my life honestly I know I say that every single day but the fact that I get to do this as my job and it's all thanks to you guys will never cease to amaze me. I've been doing YouTube and social media as a hobby for the last like 10 plus years. And so the fact that I get to do this and call it my job and also go on these amazing work trips, like speechless. So yeah, we're about to head off. Nick is actually coming along with me this time. So all of those divorce rumors can die. And we're going to a part of Australia that neither of us have ever been to. We are off, drum roll please. <laughs> we're off to WA. Yay! More specifically, the Bustleton Margaret River region. And we're going with Jetstar, which I'm so excited about. The fact that I get to work with them again and reunite with some of the people I went to the Cook Islands with. I think there's a couple of new people that I've never met before. I'm just so excited. So excited to explore a little bit of WA. I've heard so many incredible things from past clients. I've done a ton of bookings to WA, the Margaret River region as well. Love me a bit of wine. And I mean, they don't call it the dream state for no reason. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. I'll show you guys my fit. We're about to leave i got these really cute hold on this is not a great angle <laughs> airport fear feeling cute i've got the new balances on with my flared leggings ow ow it has been one of those days i literally made my coffee three times today before i got it right i spilled stuff everywhere when i was emptying the dishwasher it's just been one of those days but yeah i got these flared leggings from cotton on feeling cute wearing my rose bay t-shirt also from cotton on it's just a cotton on kind of day. Anyway, I still need to pack, so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna head off. I've already kind of made a start. Like I've got everything in little piles. I just need to physically put it in my suitcase. Nick's just taking a teeny tiny suitcase, which you guys are balancing on. So he's got his shoes in here, RM sneakers. He's gonna wear another pair. I've got my undies, my bras. I'll take this bag. Shoes. I think I'm gonna be wearing sandals most of the time. So I'll just pack these. I'm gonna wear my new balances on the plane and I'll probably take some books. I'm gonna wear this for our travel day tomorrow because we are getting right off the plane and then straight into activities. The way it works when it comes to influencer brand trips, or at least in my experience, is basically they'll send you like an itinerary and a breakdown of each day and what activities you'll be doing so you can plan your outfits and you're packing accordingly, which is so nice. That way you don't have to overpack. I mean, I still do, <laughs> let's be honest. I'm a girl that likes options, I do. <laughs> so I know for this trip, we have like a winery day, beach hopping day, we're visiting some ancient caves. So I know I need to bring appropriate footwear. 
I got this cute little set. I posted this on my Instagram story asking for your opinions because I was shopping by myself. And you know those days where you're just like, I don't know. There's sometimes where I go into a shop, I try something on, I'm like, yes, immediately, yes, I'm getting this. There are other times, I'm just in an indecisive mood. I'm about to get my periods, so that's probably why. I was just not not feeling myself. You guys, you came through, you hyped me up. I think the poll was 50-50 on this, but the people that said yes said a strong yes. And I think it looks nicer in person. Like the material, it's this nice crocheted, it's like very beachy vibes. Does it make me look like a convict? Yes. <laughs> Am I a criminal? Also yes. I mean, it's not every day you get fined for letting a dog off the leash when they shouldn't be. <laughs> I also got this cutie little floral dress. It's giving milkmaid housewife energy, which is me. I did quit my job. <laughs> that is me now. It's a little bit more girly than I would normally wear, but I put it on and the fit was so nice. The girls, they were girling. And then I also have this, which I've never worn. It's been sitting in my wardrobe for a while. It's this cute little wrap dress. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's just my carry-on and I'm good. Mm. Hello. Touch it in. hotel we got a full tour and we're here we're in bustleton margaret river region it is a good time look at this view that's unbelievable and there's a carnival there is a carnival there's a carnival one right now i thought i'd give you guys a little hotel room talk because this is honestly my favorite part of traveling is like checking out the <laughs> hotel <laughs> <laughs> to it is so beautiful this is also a new hotel i think it literally just opened i think she was saying what the end of 29th of december, december. Year, yeah so it's brand new we're staying at the hilton garden inn in bustleton this is our view right now unbelievable it's kind of giving glen elk vibes yeah. if you're from adelaide i think it's just the trees <laughs> but here is the front door wow this is nice little bathroom situation cute nice little shower this is really nice is it yeah mirror and then the rooms are like large and in charge you know sometimes when you go into hotel rooms yeah. and it's like so cramped this is like so much space it's got a nice little wardrobe situation it's like a whole like couch thing yeah this is the living area yeah. <laughs> this Back is the kitchen. bedroom yeah. this is the kitchen <laughs> we also got a bunch of goodies so spoiled oh my god like Every time I look at that, I pick up something else. You know what I mean? I feel like a real influencer. Like, this feels... A free bot water bottle? <laughs> That's what you're excited about. The water bottle. <laughs> my water bottle, my water bottle. <laughs> nice little desk situation as well. I've got the mini bar. Whenever I go into a hotel room, the first thing I look at is the mini bar for some reason. Even though I literally never use it. I think we're allowed to use that. I, I, I don't think that that's... This is for us? I think so. Anyway, so nice, stunning. Oh, that wine has gone like straight to my head. Is it? Yeah, beer. Oh, oh. is this my side? That's your side at home. I know, but you always say Why are we changing it up just because we're in a hotel room? It's closest to the door. And then oh yeah, I do get scared. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is fair. You see my confusion. Anyway, we just had a nice little welcome drink. Which is lovely. For some reason, it's gone straight to my head. So I'm feeling a little, a little tipsy, which I feel like is gonna be the vibe of this trip. Obviously, with Margaret River being a wine region, but I feel like I haven't actually sat down and said hello yet to you guys today. So hello. <laughs> I didn't know if that made any sense. It did. 
but yeah to catch you guys up to speed we flew into sydney last night met up with a group this morning and then flew from sydney to bustleton margaret river region with jetstar it was a pretty smooth flight honestly like four and a bit hours it was not too bad it honestly flew by and then immediately from the plane we went straight to the nilgi caves did like an ancient cave toy it was so cool just learning about the history and obviously seeing the caves it was really really cool and now we're here we just checked in had a welcome drink and now we're chilling out we have a couple of hours before we head to dinner and i can literally see the brewery from here shelter brewing co so we're going for dinner tonight we've just had a quick little freshen up shower dressed ready to head to dinner i'm wearing this green dress from maya i don't know what the brand is can you check the tag for me art series art series doesn't mean a lot but <laughs> and then i just got my buy main bag yep new york yankees big fan ralph lauren french connection new balance gout <laughs> Good morning you guys! Day two in Bustleton. I have just finished getting ready. We went for a little walk around the town, grabbed a coffee, Nick got some Birkenstocks for his foot. So hopefully that helps with the pain. Here's my fit. We have a bit of a beach hopping day, so checking out a bunch of different beaches in the area. This set is from Sports Girl. How lovely is it? Thanks babe. It's so stunning. Even someone on the street said, I love your I outfit. Know. What a hype up, the hype up I needed. Yeah. I've got my swimmers on underneath. I don't know if I'm gonna go for a swim, honestly. It's like day two of my period and I feel disgusting. It's also not that warm. Yeah, although it was heating up. Did you notice that when we were walking back? Yeah, I did. I was like, whew, it's just getting hot. It's definitely a nice temperature change from the 15 degrees in Adelaide right now. Yeah. So yeah, just heading to a bunch of beaches today. And then I think halfway through, we're stopping at like a gin brewery. And then this evening we have a free, free night. Free so time. free time. <laughs> it's like school camp. <laughs> Is a vibe. It's giving down the rabbit hole. It is giving down the rabbit hole. Yeah. yeah it's, it's giving Bali. Not that I've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rock Beach, I think it's called. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but the water is so clear, so blue. We just went for a nice 
dip, dry it off in the sun a little bit, read my book, and then I think we're gonna go to a gin brewery for lunch. <laughs> Hello you guys, oh my god, look at the sun behind. The sunset is about to pop off. We have just come back to the hotel quickly from our day of beach hopping. Well, we didn't really beach hop. It's more of a beach day, <laughs> but it was so beautiful. And then we had a gin and beer tasting at Black Brewing Co, I think it's called. It was so good, they really looked after us so well. The food was incredible. Anyway, we've come down to Watch the sunset. Just up here is the Bustleton Jetty. It's the longest jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. Good morning you guys happy saturday we just went and grabbed a coffee i'm like half ready i just finished curling my hair i need to put on mascara i cannot forget otherwise i'm gonna have bald little eyelashes all day <laughs> we've been up since like 5 30 because of the time difference i think it's like two and a half hours from adelaide time or three hours from sydney time at the moment it is daylight savings tonight though so i'm not sure what that means for us in the future does it stay the same unsure but yeah because of the couple of hours time difference we've been going to bed really early and waking up really early which is kind of nice and it feels like a sleep in as well because 5 30 is like 8 30 back home so yeah we've had a leisurely morning just been catching up on some work went and grabbed a coffee from the goose we had every intention of going there last night for some drinks and dinner because we had a free evening we went and watched the sunset and then we got back to a hotel we we're gonna get ready for dinner and then we were both so tired and then going to the beach the beach is is the thing i feel like i always get so tired after a beach day just being in the sun being so relaxed and then obviously going to the brewery and having a couple of drinks and some good food i, I actually wasn't really that hungry for dinner anyway so yeah just had a chill night and we literally went to bed at 8 30 last night so Rage out, rage of a time. We're about to have such a fun day. I can't wait to bring you guys along. The Margaret River region is renowned for its wineries. So we're gonna head to a couple today. I think first we're gonna go to a cafe for breakfast just to fuel up for the day. And then yeah, hit a couple of wineries and then we have our farewell dinner tonight. And that's, that's it. We've had the best time, such a good group of people. And I just feel so lucky to be here. This is also such a beautiful part of Australia. I have never been to WA. I've never been to like the South west a couple of you guys messaged me saying that the bustleton margaret river area is like our vibe and it so is it just it's a bit of me it's a bit of me the jetty is just beautiful i think i told you guys it's like the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere it, she's she's huge it really is nick and i's like ideal place with the beach beautiful cafes restaurants bars and then you've got the cute little wineries I definitely, definitely will be back here. I feel like this would make a really good couples holiday or like a girls trip or a girls boys trip. I would love to come back here with some friends and their partners and just relax and enjoy this beautiful place. The weather has also been incredible. I am so glad we're here. I don't know what the temperature is back home, like 16, 17 degrees and we've had 28, 29 days. Stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready now and I'll show you guys my outfit.
just finished up our wine tour at Fraser Gallup Estate and now we've come to Felix Vass. So pretty. Get all angles. Sorry, I was all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go right in front of this. I'll go for a full <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is now Sunday. Our trip is sadly coming to an end, which I'm so sad about. It's been such a whirlwind of the last couple of days. I feel like we've packed in so much, so much good food and wine and beaches. Like it's been the absolute best. I feel like there's so much here. I could easily spend like another week here. It's so nice. Yeah, it was lovely. We will be back though. Mm. We will be back, especially with Jetstar doing the Sydney to Bustleton and Melbourne to Bustleton route now. Like we've got options. I have a question for you. What's been your favorite part? Like your highlight? Oh, it's so hard. There's a lot of good stuff. On the spot? I think, um, I actually know that's really hard. I asked the question, but I don't yeah. even know what my own answer is. I really is. like the wineries yesterday. Yeah, that was really fun. I think the people, like everyone has been so hospitable. Oh, I can never hospitable. say Hos hospitable. <laughs> Everyone's been so hosp what was that, hospitable. <laughs> Everyone's been so lovely. You can tell that they're like just excited that we're here and like yeah. experiencing their home. It's and so proud, special. And proud of what they do. Yeah, like they're so proud of everything that they do in this region and like excited that there's the new route from mm. Sydney and Melbourne. Like just hearing about how it affects tourism. Like, I don't know, this is maybe a silly observation, but I never really thought about it. Like a new flight route opening up yeah. with a like big airline like Jetstar I never really thought about the impact that has on like the local economy but like yeah just hearing about how grateful people are and I don't know it's just so cool to see the Hilton as well has been so lovely this has definitely been a highlight I think if we come back I would definitely stay here oh, 10 100%. out of 10 the rooms are really nice Wait, the beds are very spacious yep that's a big tick for we have a queen bed at home, and so whenever we go somewhere and there's a king bed, it just feels so luxurious. You're like, yes, don't I'm touch like, me. I do this not have to touch you. I can't even feel you. Yeah, it's so nice. Plus, we usually have three living beings in the bed. We've only got two. We make Mabel. that sound Mabel. really weird. I, I was going to say people. Like, three living beings. She's not a person. Like, who else is in bed with us? He means Babel, guys, just yeah. to clarify. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, Bustleton. Goodbye, Nicholas. What are you doing? Proposing? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. Do you remember how to propose? I do. Okay, go on then. Give I it to us. I don't have my ring. Okay, yeah. Go on. Give it you to us. You want your wedding rings for? <gasps> oh my gosh, this is actually giving me flashbacks. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> So no, you have to wait for the answer. <laughs> Get back on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Do you Two wedding, rings. Do you have a wedding ring as well? <laughs> this is not it, how it went. I think this is a bit played out. <laughs> I remember the first time we met face to face. 